I wanted to queue up for the round two two man, but the guy that we just played playing Tron is in the two man queue, and I don't want to do that again. <laughs> okay, so he's out of it now. But what if what if he's gonna next level us? What if he got out and then we jump in and then he jumps in? We'll have to play against Tron again. I'm gonna give it a few minutes. I don't want to play against Tron again. Oh, we're here. <laughs> we have a game up. Okay, so let's see. Uh, so we're on the this hand. Uh, I'm unsure. I have no idea. We're playing against. We don't have what we're playing against. We don't have a lot of interaction. We have. Verdict, some colonnades, a snap, and a spell snare. So nah, it's probably not great, but we have lands, so we're going to keep it. And we're probably going to lead with an island just so we can have spell snare up. Like if this guy goes goblin get, we're going to be sad. He's going to go Utopia Sprawl. So we're, we're, we still might be sad. It's going to be green, probably mono green, devotion. All right, well, the leak isn't bad. That means. Maybe, hopefully he'd play something that costs two and we could spell snare it and then play this island and then leak the next one. Again, feeling like this early mana leak is better than an early remand. Although, okay, great. Yeah, so we're still going to just have the mana leak up. And then unfortunately we're going to have to play these colonnades tapped, but we have our interaction kind of at the ready now, so... Another Utopia Sprawl, and he's kind of loading up this one land, which means it's going to make a great tech target later. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. All right, pass. All right, I still, let's see, next one. I can go one, two, three, four, five. I still feel like Mono, Mono Leak is in the range where it's good. And I mean, we could have countered that spell, we just chose not to. You know, bouncing this land with the Cryptic Command is also going to be sweet. I definitely think in these green decks, like, loading up on one land is not the way to do it. I mean, I don't play them, but... There's going to be a Acidic Slime. Yeah, we'll mana like that. I don't want you blowing my lands up, buddy. Now, hopefully we can get an untapped uh, land or a fetch so that we can have Cryptic... Not quite, but that's... I mean, Logic Knot could be live. We'll be able to do it for two. Cryptic Bounce This Forest is going to be sweet. That's going to be like a three for one or something like that. One, two, three, four. Garut costs four, five. Okay, so we can counter whatever he's playing here, and we probably will. Yeah, then we're going to have, let's see, he's got one mana up, so we'll do it for this. Pay for this, delve this, okay. That's good, because that's one. Of, that's going to be one of his value spells as well. So I'm kind of, I'm glad we're countering that. And then we're going to have Cryptic up, and what we're going to do is counter basically whatever he does and balance this forest. Um, I don't think we're going to, well, I, I doubt we're going to need this other extra blue, but we do have a spell snare, and let's think, do we care? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine to just to be able to cryptic something and then spell snare something if we have to. I'm not going to like counter like a mana dork if that's what he does. If he plays like a guy that untaps a land, I'm not going to counter that. In that case, I'd probably just cryptic bounce the forest and draw a card at the end of the turn. Um, maybe I will cryptic and spell snare on the same turn. Uh, whatever he's doing, this is going to be a beating. <laughs> he's got to shock himself to do it. Yeah, this is going to be real gross for him.
Oof. Value. So much value. <laughs> and kind of funnily enough, that, at least for all intents and purposes, kind of turns on like a snap mana leak. Oh no, wait, my bad. We, we delved, delved it away on uh, that. Okay, but now we have, s yeah, now we have snap cryptic up, so pretty good. Um, he's not doing anything. Makes me, you know, I, I wonder how we could get. I wonder how we could get punished by Colin. I guess we don't have to start killing him yet. get this other watery grave. All right, let's see. What does Primal Command do again? Put target on, target push shuffles this graveyard. Library. Search your library for a creature card, reveal it, put it in your hand and shuffle your library. I guess even if he like even if that was to resolve and he gets a creature, we have these paths, so let's do one, two, three, four, five. And this looks like we have cryptic up. And we do technically have Snapcaster Mage, Logic Knot for one, two, three, four, if we choose to do that. I'm not worried about that. We could have Snap Spell Snared it, but this just does not seem that impactful right now. Sure. I mean, that in and of itself doesn't really do anything. I kind of think that he would put it on the land. Like, I would have think he would have, like, tapped some forests and then put the overgrowth on this forest and then tap that forest. But what do I know? So he can generate a lot of mana next. So maybe his plan is to go like all into a, let's see, if we go one, two, three, four, five, then we don't have snap cryptic. Um, we do have monolith. But like, let's say he goes um, one, two, three, untap it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then our mana leak's not going to counter it. But I guess in that case, we could logic knot it. Um, if he chooses to be real conservative, though, I can see a world where.
I will attack. <laughs> He's probably not going to be that. I hope I'm not killing us here. Like, I, I'm thinking he's not going to see, like, oh, I need to play around. Actually, so now we can snap logic knot for one, two, three, four, five. So I doubt if he's going to do some giant spell like a Genesis wave that he's going to keep that much up. So we'll just attack. And then he's he's obviously dead and one more attack after that. So. And, I mean, if he gets, like, a primeval titan or something like that, then we'll just path it. Or if he just taps completely out, then we'll just mana like it. Three, untap, six. Okay. Two cards still. He's not conceding, so I guess he has something. And I guess if he does notice this way, we do have this. If you know, unless all this stuff gets haste. It could. Like, maybe as Crater Hoof, he could get a Crater Hoof in play. I don't think Crater Hoof gives all of your creatures haste, though. I think it just gives himself haste. Esper Control! I do love casting Cryptic Commands. Reminds me of this meme. I'll have to find it. Um... Right, let's let's finish this up and then I'll I'll try to find it. Uh, okay, so let's go. Yeah, okay. He's gonna concede. Um. All right, against this guy. These are like these uh, like like the disruption seems like it could be okay. Like being able to disenchant probably. But we already have four Esper Charms, like, I don't know if we need that many ways to kill enchantments. Like, our, our, uh... All of our counter magic is good. The path... Like, I think we can... Actually, we'll... We can probably cut some number of paths, keep in a couple sweepers just in case, and then bring, bring in these. And I'm thinking these might be good just kind of as an early play, get rid of Primal Command or something like that. Um, I think I'm happy with this. All right, let's see. Salon de Jean. I think this hand seems very serviceable. We have early counterspell, some card draw, a safety valve, if you want to call it that. All right, so I'm going to leave with the polluted delta and probably just get a hollow fountain. Can't count anything yet, but hopefully it's just like abundant growthine or whatever that stuff is. Oh, that's super gross. That's really gross. Dying to just a choke. Uh, can we beat that from here on out? <sighs> it's possible. If we draw an Esper Charm, we could potentially get there. Or a Colonnade.
Hopefully he kept a bad hand on the grounds that he just had a choke. We don't need five enchantment destroying effects. Why would we want that? <laughs> I swear to God, if the guy's playing another choke, I'm just going to be so sad. What are you doing? Genesis wave. Overbuild. Okay, fine. <sighs> I guess I just can let's play this. I mean We have outs. We need to draw them, but we have outs. We have Esper Term for this joke. Somewhere in here. I mean, even if, like if we had a spell snare, like there's really nothing that's gonna save us from a turn. <laughs> there's nothing that's gonna save us from a turn two choke. A unless, you know, we can draw to an Esper Term. Spell snare is not gonna do it. I guess Spell Pierce could do it. But we're not running spell pierce in this deck. So he can pay for he can pay for monolith here. Got one floating, two there. I guess this just has to happen. Magic Online is literally gone. <laughs> it's like not even open. That was so strange. Hold on a second. Okay, we're logging back in. That was weird. It didn't even like say error. It just blank. Gone. Not playing Magic anymore. We don't need these anymore. Salon Dijon. Oh my gosh, give us an Esper Charm. That's all I want in life. I've never wanted an Esper Charm more than I want one right now. Uh, Alright, it's his turn. Is he going to beat us down with a Acidic Slime, a Arbor, an Arbor Elf, and a Voyaging Seder? Is that going to happen? So, assuming we just die this game, which I think we probably do, we are going to be very mindful of this guy. I'm just going to have six. I, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to tap this island. What is happening? That just happened again. This is really weird. Alright, this is strange. I don't know why. I've, I've never had these kind of te technical difficulties with Moto before. It recently updated X split, but it doesn't explain like why Moto would suddenly just shut down. Um, weird. Okay, so I guess he... What happened? What did he do? So he lost connection, he cast Primal Command, targeted himself, he gained seven lands, he searched his library for a creature, he put it in his hand. He guess he got another acidic slime. Joy. Um Well, I guess we'll play this. And I mean you can just Hmm. So he's gonna acidic slime, blow up this island. What? Guys, hold on a second. Okay, we're gonna try this again. I don't know why this keeps happening. I shut down some other programs. I don't want to restart my computer because then I like 
this recording gets broken up into two pieces, which I could technically stitch it together. Anyway, what I was saying is he's going to play this acidic slime, um, and he's going to be able to generate probably... Wait, did we play that? I'm getting all discombobulated. Yeah, we played all that. Okay, so... He can activate Nykthos and then make one, two, one, two, three, four. So he has to do like this, a forest, stomp ground, activate Nykthos, make four mana, tap this forest, play Acidic Slime. I guess that's how he has to do that. Oh no, he's got, I'm sorry, I didn't count these. Yes, please do a second main phase. Attack me. Okay, so this overgrowth is not showing attached anymore. All right, so he has no mana floating, assuming I'm seeing this correctly. Um, All right, so here's what we're going to do. With this trigger on the stack, we're gonna. Uh, we gotta counter this freaking choke. Um, so we can bounce the choke. Jeez, man, what? This is really frustrating. I can't. I. All right, I'm gonna have to. Um, I'm gonna have to pause this recording. Stop this recording. Restart my computer and then stitch them back together after the fact. Sorry about all the trouble, guys, but ho hopefully I don't time out of my match or anything. Um, I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, we're back. Um, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Now, what I'm trying to decide here is if I can get away with bouncing. I think I just want to bounce, choke, draw a card, and I don't really have a way to deal with it. But. I could bounce choke. I could bounce choke. Draw. Wrath of God away is bored, but then we're still kind of in a bad position. Um, what I probably should have done is now that I like all those restarts, like just messed up my thought process. Is I could have actually countered acidic slime, bounce choke. Uh, that would not be going down to four lands. It's still not enough to snap. This is intensely frustrating. <laughs> hey guys, I'm really sorry about this. I don't think we're gonna end up, we're gonna get to finish this game. Uh oh. Oh gosh. Well, Moto worked for all the five seconds that time. I have no idea what's going on. I don't think this is Moto problem. This must be something with my computer. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this match. Unfortunately. I'll try one more time. I don't know why I'm trying to get over try like seven or eight times. Okay, we're not going to have any time to make any decisions here, so we're just going to... try to fetch for something. I guess we're going to bounce, draw, maybe we'll draw and do another... None of these, none of this, none of these ideas sound good to me, but islands don't untap, so let's see. I guess we could get... It's about to cut out again. Okay, there's no point in trying, guys. Uh, I don't know what's happening. I don't know why this is happening. I, I'm gonna have to like look in. I see a bunch of these application errors, but they're all like at different times, and I don't necessarily think they're related. So oh, I just realized you guys can't see what I see on my screen, but uh, sorry about that. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try to try to finish this match. I'm going to try to figure out what's going on and why that's happening, but um, yeah, sorry about that, guys. I will get this solved, and maybe I'll come back and play some more as per control. Not tonight, though. i got to go to dinner with my family, so thanks for watching, guys. Sorry about all the problems. Uh, hope you enjoyed what we did have, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Thanks.